Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be learning how to install and use our reference in Portal script, which will help you get your video reference into Maya without it being a hassle. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the GitHub page for the script. I'm going to leave it down in the description. And from there, we're going to go to release this tab and you're going to see that you're going to have 1.0. It might not be 1.0 yet when you're watching this video, but this is the current version. And then make sure to please download the correct version for your Maya. So if you're using Maya 2021 or under, you're just going to download the regular zip. And if you're using Maya 2022 or higher, you're going to download the Python 3 version. If you don't do this, it will not work. So make sure to do it. I'm just going to download the Python 3 version as that's the one that I'm going to be using for demonstration in Maya 2022. When you download, sometimes you might get a message that says, oh, you cannot download this file or, or it might be dangerous. Just make sure to like this one. So just make sure to click here and then click save. Nothing's going on with the script. No worries about it. It's all safe and good. So once we have downloaded the script, we're just going to open it. And then here we have our two files and we're going to extract these files into the scripts folder of our uh, of our Maya documents uh, directory. So I already have it open right here. So this is a my user documents Maya. Uh, and then you're going to choose the correct version. Then again, I'm going to be using 2022. So I'm just going to click on it and then go to scripts. And I'm just going to drag and drop my files from my zip into my folder. And that should be done. Now we can go to Maya. All right, so once we're here in Maya, we're just going to open a script editor and go to a Python tab. And here we're going to paste the command that's going to help us run the script. You can just find it here in our um, GitHub repository. So we're just going to copy it from here, from point number two in the installation and paste it over here in Python. And if we just hit run, you'll see that the window is showing up. So from here, we're just going to select a video file. I've already have got one that's ready for testing. So we're just going to double click on it. It'll open it. And here in the trimming, it'll um, automatically set the ending to be the ending of the uh, video. So if you want the whole video to be converted to image sequence, to an image sequence, then you can just leave it as is, or you can just edit it and maybe um, make it only be the first second or the first two seconds and things like that. From there, we're just going to set the the file name for the sequence so i'm just going to um name it as um file sequence something like that and then here you can choose the file section to either be jpeg or png and then we're going to um set our output directory i'm just going to create a new folder here which is going to be our image sequence okay we're just going to go into it and select the folder and now our target frame rate is the frame rate in which we want our uh, image sequence to be. If we're going to be animating in 24 FPS, then make sure to set it to 24 FPS. Or if you're going to animate in any other frames per second, make sure to set them up correctly. And I'm just going to click on the create image plane, which will automatically create an image plane linked to that image sequence that the script is going to create. So if I just hit create image sequence, you're going to see that I created it. And if I run it, it's already set up. This is all using the image sequence that was generated from the JPEG. I can just show you real quick that right here, we have our image sequence. And even if the video is in 60 or 30 FPS, the script will automatically convert it down to whatever target frame rate you specify. So if it's in 60 FPS and you want to animate in 24 FPS, it will automatically drop all the frames that are necessary for turning that 60 FPS video into 24 FPS, which is really useful for animators. So I hope that you really find it useful. If you find any problems with the script, please let me know so I can fix them as fast as possible. And as always, have a good day.